Welcome back everybody. This is Glockman4519. I'm back with another ROM overview. Uh, this one here is the uh, Nexus 6 uh, and it is Android N or uh, Nougat. Um, now there are about three builds out so far um, for the Nexus 6 that uh, is Android N uh, or Android 7.0. Uh, they're not really official uh, because there really hasn't been anything released yet for it. Um, but there are, like I said, at least three different um, developers that I know of that are developing for this phone uh, just to give us a taste of uh, Android N. And I was asked to review uh, the Nutty um, build by Ratchet Panda, and I was going to, uh, but one of the reasons that I didn't was because um, there is an issue going on with uh, Verizon phones, uh, and I am on Verizon, uh, where the you can't hear um, through your speaker when you make a call. You actually have to use your speaker as like a speakerphone, and uh, the volume is very, very low on it. It's very hard to hear, um, and that's when it is even working right. So uh, I did do a lot of reading, and I found that um, Despair, uh, who makes Despair Kernel, uh, he also has a very nice ROM out, uh, is building a, uh, a, a Nexus ROM, or a, a Nougat ROM, which is what I'm running right here. Uh, it's called uh, Despair Uber 7.0, um, and it is running great, and there are no issues whatsoever as far as speaker goes. All the audio and everything is working great. Uh, the other one I was running was from uh, R or PWN3R. Um, it was uh, I, he called it his um, uh, nuggets, nuggets. That's what he called it, his nuggets. Uh, and that was another very nice one. Um, but again, uh, uh, it had the issues with uh, phone calls. So uh, the one I am running is the Despair, and I'm not sure if I can even find it. Uh, I will put the link in the description for you guys, but let's go ahead and get into this ROM real quick. Uh, there are a couple things I really like about it. Number one, uh, it is rooted. Um, number two, uh, multi-ROM works uh, perfectly with it. Uh, as you can see, um, when we get into here, um, the uh, the kernel, it'll say that the kernel uh, has Kexic, uh, um it has the Kexix hard boot patch, so it is compatible. Uh, it does work. Uh, I am running it at my primary spot right now. Uh, if I was to uh, boot, now I'm just doing this so you guys can see. Uh, let's go to the ROM manager. Uh, let's just go ahead and boot into uh, Beanstalk real quick. And I just want to let you guys see that uh, I am running this uh, in my primary spot. Uh, as you guys can see, it says internal is despair 7.0. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. But now it's going to go ahead and boot into uh, Beanstalk quickly. I'm going to try to make this video uh, as short as possible, but I wanted you guys to see this. Um, this video, I'm not going to get too much into the ROM. I'm going to show you some of the features, but you guys have probably already seen the ROMs out uh, for this device, and you know how, uh, you know, you pretty much know all the features that are in it. Uh, there's no surprise when it comes to features here. Uh, the only thing is, uh, this developer uh, does have the, um, uh, you know, where you can, uh, the reboot, the advanced reboot menu. But I just wanted to show you, I am now into uh, Beanstalk, uh, and this is Beanstalk Marshmallow. I just wanted to show you, Multi-ROM is definitely working, as you guys can see. Uh, this is Nexus 6, uh, Android version 601, Beanstalk version, you know, uh, just so you know. So... We're going to go ahead and go back, back. I'm going to go ahead and go back into multi-ROM real quick. Um, real quick, there we go. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and boot right back into the primary ROM and show you. Um, and for those of you guys, um, flashing this ROM was very, very simple to do. Uh, as a matter of fact, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and reboot to recovery and just show you quickly what I did to um, flash this. So uh, I'm going to try to get out of the uh, reflection of the camera there. Um, I am running uh, 3020. I am not running the 3021 or 3022. There are issues with it. Uh, I heard that uh, 3023 came out already. Um, and I'm not going to try any of them until they're proven to work. Uh, so I'm running just uh, twerp 3020. Now all I did 
to make this ROM work was I hit wipe. I went to uh, I went to advanced wipe right here. See, hit advanced wipe, and then I clicked on every one of these except for internal storage, and then I swipe to wipe. Now I'm not going to do it because I already have my ROM set up and I'm not going through this again. But that's what I did for the wipe. Next, you go to install. Since we're installing on our primary, I'm going to go up a level. Uh, we will pick the ROM, which is uh, the Uber Despair. I have everything in that folder right there. Uh, as you guys can see, uh, there is uh, just the ROM. Now this ROM doesn't come with gaps, so you have to flash your own gaps. But you just pick Uber Despair. Um, I usually go add more ROMs up a level um, and then I'll go to the uh, let me see I think it's under Magisk is where I have my G apps Then I went with the uh, um, let me find them here anyways I used uh, I used open gaps Pico there they are right there see I use them then you once you put them swipe to wipe that will flash your ROM and your G apps all right so I'm gonna go back after your ROM and your G apps are flashed, I usually wipe Cache and Delvic real quick. Uh, you don't have to worry about the kernel because it already comes with the spare in it. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flash the Magisk V6 Zip. All right, I'll let you see that. The Magisk V6 Zip, which is right here. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Yeah. Swipe to wipe that. That will install that. And then the last but not least, uh, I will install the uh, the PHH Super User 17 Magic Zip or Magisk Zip. That one right there. Okay. And I would swipe to wipe that and then hit reboot. Okay. It's that simple. When you hit reboot system, uh, it is going to boot into uh, Marshmallow and, or into uh, Nougat. Guys, remember, give it some time to, uh, well, it's multi-ROM, so I'm going to go boot now. Um, give it some time. Uh, your first boot is going to take forever. Uh, since this is already booted up and I've had it uh, running, uh, it's not going to take long at all uh, to boot up on this, it, you know, a little bit. Um, but again, uh, he does have uh, the advanced uh, reboot menu on here, which is really cool because you don't get that. Uh, and the boot animation is from... Uh, one of the themes I'm running, uh, and uh, the theme manager is definitely working in it. Uh, you know, OMS or Substratum, uh, it's working. Uh, as you can see, uh, once it's set up, it boots very, very quickly, uh, and I am into the ROM. So what we're going to do uh, quickly is I'm going to let you guys see what it looks like. Um, you do have your uh, quick picks up there first, and then if you pull down one more time, then you have your, uh, your uh, quick settings. Uh, slide to the right. Message, sir. Yeah, I'll bet I do. Uh, in, and it's very easy to set them up. You just click on that edit tile uh, and then just scroll down, pick a tile you want, click, drag it up, click, touch, hold. Come on, touch and hold, drag into position. It's that simple. And you click back and you're done. Now to go into settings, click on that. Now, uh, for your, another thing I wanted to show you, for your, um, System UI Tuner. Uh, you do not have to uh, press and hold the gear on the drop down. Uh, System UI Tuner is set up by default to, to go ahead and, and be running. So uh, that's a good thing. Um, and if you go into the System UI Tuner, uh, these are some of the goodies that come with it. Uh, of course, under your status bar icons, you're going to be able to pick and choose uh, what icons you want to show on your status bar. Uh, these are what comes with it. And I'm trying to hold the cameras still as I can I still don't have my mount uh, for my uh, you know for my phone yet uh, but there's quite a few things that you can pick and choose from from there uh, you also have your battery uh, you can you know decide how you want your uh, your battery percentage to be and along with that is going to be um, the clock where is that at I know the clock is here somewhere oh I know where it's at I had a clip bag uh, under color and appearance you have your night mode options now First thing I can tell you right off the bat um, is you want to turn that on or you want to turn that off and turn that that way. Uh, it comes really kind of funky colored. Uh, play with that until you get the color right the way you want it. Uh, but those are your color settings, your advanced color settings. Um, up next, of course, is going to be the uh, do not disturb. Oops, the uh, do not disturb. 
Uh, these are your do not disturb settings. Uh, nope. It do not disturb. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. There's your do not disturb settings. Uh, if I go back, uh, your navigation bars. Uh, these are how you can move your nav bars around or make them wider if you want. Uh, it's very simple to, uh, to use. Just play around with that. Uh, and then under other, uh, it's enable split screen swipe with your up gesture and then of course your power uh, notification uh, controls. And that's pretty much it for the system UI tuner. Um, as you guys can see, uh, if we go under about phone, um, it is... Uh, uh, Nexus 6, uh, Android version 7.0, and if we tap a bunch of times, you're going to get the N. Uh, keep tapping. If you tap and hold, tap and hold, keep tapping, tap, tap and hold. There you go. And the Easter egg pops up. I just turned it off. If I tap and hold again, I turned it back on. I think it's stupid. I kind of like the game in the other one, but, you know, it is what it is. As you can see, I'm running the uh, the supplied kernel, which is a uh, despair kernel, which comes with it. Uh, it does have the August uh, security patch uh, in it, so you're good to go there. Um, really, there's not much to go over on this. Um, what I'll do is I'll quickly go to security, let you guys see what's under security. Uh, you can encrypt your phone if you like. I am not encrypted. I do not recommend being encrypted. Uh, especially if you're going into nougat uh, they're they're having all kinds of problems with that uh with you know encrypting and then de-encrypting and encrypting it's all about twerp and, and the issues with backups and all kinds of problems so that's one of the reasons i'm staying with uh twerp uh 3020 anyways and it's working fine um pretty much it i will let you guys see uh what bootloader i'm on quickly if i go to about phone and go to uh well, I guess it's not going to show it on here anyways. Um, yeah, it's not going to show it. Uh, let's see. Let's go to sound and notification. Well, just sound. Notifications has its own setting. Um, as you guys can see, pretty standard affair, uh, what we're normally used to in uh, even Marshmallow. Um, and if we go to the other sounds, uh, pretty much like what we saw in Marshmallow. Well, but what is nice about this is anytime you can swipe from the... Uh, from the left screen over and you can access the main menu from there you don't just have you don't have to keep hitting the back button uh, we can go to display from here uh, you have your adaptive brightness wallpaper you know you sleep time uh, screen saver ambient display all that font size which is really cool if you click on your font size um, it actually gives you a preview of uh, what your font size would look like when you change it and all you do is just move the bar where you want it so that's pretty cool uh, same way with the uh, display uh, it actually gives you a uh, mock display, which kind of gives you an idea of what it's going to look like, uh, you know, depending on where you want to move that at. Um, the only thing left is notifications. Uh, and basically all that does is just you go through your apps and allow what apps you want to notify and, you know, what they're allowed and it's all that. Uh, it does have a settings button up here, uh, so you can just pick on lock screen. Uh, you know, to show what notifications you want to show on your lock screen. All right, we're almost at 15 minutes, so I want to hurry up and wrap this up. Um, and that is about it, guys. Uh, I will tell you, uh, I did play several calls on this. It's working, camera's working, um, audio's working, video, the audio on the video is all working. Um, it's, it, if you guys want a daily driver uh, a, uh, uh, and you want to, and you want to run Nougat, uh, this ROM I highly recommend. The only reason why you don't see a data symbol up here uh, is because uh, I have my SIM card out. Uh, I only have one Verizon SIM card. I have it in my uh, 6P right now, uh, but I can assure you I've made several phone calls on uh, my Nexus 6 with the SIM card in, and it is working great. All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, this is um, Uber Despair 7.0. Uh, for the Nexus 6. If you guys liked the uh, video, please give it a thumbs up. I want to thank all of my subscribers, and I will see you guys on the next one.